Guys, it's happened. The greatest arm wrestler in the world, Ryan Blue Bowen, is officially back to full-time arm wrestling. And as someone in the online community who has actually pulled Ryan before, I wanted to use this as a chance to talk about just how strong I think Ryan Bowen is and in relation to, you know, the rest of the world and where he sort of stands. Now, obviously, we all know that Ryan is a top, top level puller within Australia and Oceania itself. You know, he has been holding the number two spot for a long time, at least until recently when he lost to Lachlan Carpenter. Um, but even within, you know, the Asian region, he has beaten guys recently like Baek Seong Yul, Mazahir Saidu, who are national level champions within their own country. Even towards the Western side, We've seen him have some success against national level pullers such as Artem Taranenko, um, Bogdan Stoika. Um, back in the WAL days, we, we saw him beat Alan Guerra. So, Ryan definitely is not a weak guy by any means. And even when I was pulling him back in 2022, even though my level wasn't really as high as it is right now, it was still very easily able to cup me in and for those of you guys who know my style of pulling it's extremely hard to force me into a hook my sort of ace is a back pressure strong pronation type of move and for Ryan to just easily cup me in is very very telling of his level at least in the hand and wrist department but yeah just how strong exactly is Ryan vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the world well some points of contention that people like to bring up is Ryan did lose to Coach Ray, who is sort of a middle of the pack middleweight puller at the world level at least. So we've seen Coach Ray do sort of lukewarm in the 80, 85 kilo categories at WAF Worlds. And Ryan being a guy who normally walks around 105, maybe even 110 kilos category sometimes, being someone at that weight and losing to someone almost 15 20 kilos lower not very telling of of um of his level but he does fall back on saying that for that match specifically he was extremely water cut very depleted and that is why he didn't really do as well in other cases we've seen him do much better when he's more at a comfortable walking around weight in that 100 to 110 kilo category but that begs the question what is his level exactly at within his own weight class and unfortunately for ryan i think that right now at least he's still not yet at that you know knocking on the door of the world level pullers at that 100 to 110 kilo class you know you have guys like bacho krasimir reno masik these are the guys who are around that level, you know, Sandris, that 100 to 110 kilo class, extremely, extremely competitive. And unfortunately for Ryan, he has not really done anything to show that he is at that level yet. The, the closest guy that he has within his region itself is obviously Lachlan Adair, his longtime friend and training partner. And Ryan has never really been close to Lachlan's level. And when you see Lachlan, who recently at King of the Table went up against Krasimir Kostadinov, we saw that, you know, Lachlan is still a little bit lacking in that department. He wasn't super far off, but Lachlan was the bigger guy. Krasimir usually competes at 100 kilos and Lachlan more towards 110 kilos, 115 maybe. And seeing that disparity from Ryan to Lachlan and then Lachlan to someone like Krasimir, that's a little bit showing of where Ryan Bowen is at. So within that 100 to 110 kilo range, I would say Ryan is probably somewhere around maybe knocking on the doors of top 20 or so. But if he really, really wants to get competitive at that level, I think he's still has a ways to go right now most of his recent wins are against guys who are of a lighter weight class artem Taranenko, for example um baek seong yul from south korea 
both of these guys usually weighing around 90 or so kilos, whereas Ryan weighing more towards 105 or so. And that being said, Ryan is still a very dangerous, very strong athlete just because of how well-rounded he is. And if he is able to keep his same level of strength and power and cut down to roughly that 90 kilo or so category, then I think he will be able to make waves on the world stage. But to be competitive at the 100 plus kilos, I think he still has a lot of work to do. But still, great puller. Awesome to see Ryan back in the community. I know he is a very, very polarizing figure in the sport. Some of the stuff I don't really agree with, some of the stuff I do agree with. But what do you guys think about the return of the GOAT, Ryan Blue Bowen? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's Greg. I'll see you in the next one.